Hey, I'm Lars from Running Expert, and in this video, I'll be showing you the best shoes from Brooks. Before we go into the specific shoes, let's just talk a little bit about the technologies and especially the foam technologies. If I just move this one right over here, you have the DNA Loft, DNA Amp, BioMogo DNA, and DNA Flash. So, DNA Loft is the comfortable, really nice, cushiony. DNA Amp is a little bit more bouncy. DNA or BioMogo DNA is a little bit lighter and more responsive. And then you have Flash, which is super light and super fast. If we go a little bit back to the DNA, there's two here. And that's because this one, the Ghost, has the version 2 DNA. Version 3 has just arrived and it has nitro infused foam. So that means it's a little bit more bouncy and tends to go towards feeling a little bit more like the DNA amp, which is also bouncy with high energy return. Style fit is something you can find on all different running shoes from Brooks. It's a little bit more of a tighter fitting, sock like, a little bit more stretchy, comfortable upper. And we switched out the shoes up here again, and now they have these lines on them. So everyone has these lines, and you can see right next to the name, it says GTS, and that means go to support. So these are the pronation shoes, the stability shoes, the one that caresses your ankle a little bit more, helps you with the stability when you're running. Almost every model of Brooks running shoes has a GTS version, and that's it, it's super easy. If you want a little bit more support, look for the GTS version. And now to the shoes. And we start off with the softest one with the new DNA Loft version 3 midsole. That's the nitrogen infused midsole, which feels a little bit more bouncy. So it's kind of tending toward a more springy and soft ride. So the Glycerin and the Glycerin GTS is the nice, comfortable and soft maximum cushion trainer that you can just use every single day and have plenty of really nice cushioning. On the other side of the table here are the two top sellers. A little bit less cushiony than the Glycerin, you have the Adrenaline and the Ghost, which could probably be named the same thing. They're very, very similar and they're a little bit firmer on it, just a tiny, tiny bit. So you have still a soft cushioning, but you have a little bit more of a responsiveness so you get a little bit more of a versatile shoe that can handle more types of daily training especially if you're one of those that like to run a little bit of a faster run and a little bit of a slower run then the adrenaline and the ghost are really great options and the adrenaline is the gts version here so you got the neutral you got the support shoe next up is the bouncy category Brooks likes to say the energized category, the category with the shoes with the highest energy return. And that's mainly one shoe, the Levitate, but I snuck in the Glycerin as well with that new midsole, which feels still really nice and bouncy when you run in it. But back to the Levitate, this is a DNA amp midsole running shoe, and that means it's a little bit more bouncy a little bit more energy return. It's nice and comfortable to run in. This one has a stealth fit upper. You will find it with the regular fit on our store. And next up, we're really going fast here because we're going to the speed category. And we're starting off with this beauty, the launch. And this is the launch GTS. It has a little bit more support and you have the normal launch. They had the BioMogo DNA midsole and that means it's a little bit firmer a little bit more responsive it's great for a daily trainer if you're one of those who like a little bit of a lighter and more firm daily trainer and this one also comes with the gts go to support for those runners who need a little bit more support around the ankles and then you have the light and funny one at the end this is the hyperion tempo and it has the dna flash midsole it's super light really lightweight, responsive, one of those racing flats that are kind of a little bit old school, but mixed with that perfect new, really cool midsole. I really adore this shoe, and it's kind of one of those favorite shoes that you want to just put on for a fast 5K, 10K effort. A really nice tempo and competition shoe from Brooks. And last but not least, 
here are the trail shoes and we start off with the Cascadia. The Cascadia has a rock plate, is a little bit lower stack height, is a little bit firmer around the foot, it has a little bit more traction underfoot for those wet days. It's a little bit more of a technical trail shoe compared to the Caldera, which you see here has a lot of foam. It cheats you a little bit though. It's actually not that tall. It's a little bit closer to right here, but the foam goes out on the sides and just comforts you and your ankles a little bit. It has that DNA Loft version 3 midsole, which is super bouncy and nice. This one goes more towards the Ultra Runner. You have a little bit better fit for those toes, a little bit wider, and you have a little bit less grip underneath, but it's also a shoe that's a lot better as a hybrid. So you can run on asphalt, gravel, mud, everywhere in this shoe. But if you want to go really fast and technical, then you go with Cascadia. And that's it, the shoes are off the table. I hope you learned a little bit about Brooks and what the different shoes do today. And if I forgot anything, write it in the comments down below to help your fellow YouTube watchers out. I'm Lars from Running Expert, and I hope to see you again soon. Ooh.